Hi, so in this video we're going to be talking about factorisation. Now this is the second video in a series on factorising um, and this is aimed particularly at students who are A or B grade GCSE because it deals with a particular type of equation which is called a quadratic equation. So it has um, terms which are something like this. Now if you plotted this equation onto a graph, um, now it would have, it would look something like that, so a U shape or an N shape, something like that. And if you have a look at mathsrap.co.uk, that will give you quite a lot of information. Um, however, what we're wanting to do is to factorise this. So, by way of um, a practical example, I'm going to give you a question which is relatively straightforward and then we'll try something which is a little bit more, uh, a bit more tricky. Um, so, we'll have a look at the first one first. We've got x squared plus 7x plus 10. Okay, so in order to factorise that equation, we're going to break it into two bracketed terms. So, we've got something like that. So in other words, uh, whatever we put in this bracket is going to be multiplied by whatever we put in that bracket. Now there are a couple of different ways of doing this and it does all revolve around the same sort of idea. Um, however, the way that I would do it is to have it as a pictorial representation. Um, what I mean by that is I'm going to use a little cross because what the cross will do is allow me to represent different um, ways of solving this and allow me to calculate it separately to putting it into the brackets and crossing things out and rewriting them again. So I'm going to do all my trial and error work using this cross. So what I'm going to do first is if I look at this cross, um, I'm just going to put it down there for you. So this cross represents, this is the first term, so this one here is the first term. So whatever we put in the bracket is going to go there and it's going to be there. The second term is here, which is there, so it's going to go into this space here. The third term is going to go into this space here and the fourth is going to go into this space here. Okay, so when I'm using this cross I can bear that in mind as I'm doing it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this x squared. Well in order to get x squared it's x multiplied by x. So in other words I'm going to have an x here and an x here. So for the purposes of this particular cross I'm going to put an x there and an x there. And I know that when I write these in I'm going to get my x squared term. The second thing we're going to do is I'm going to look at my last term which is positive 10. Okay, now positive 10, um, we have to look at ways in which positive 10 can be made, but just for the sake of this particular video I'm going to use 10 and 1. And I'm going to say, well, 10 times 1 is going to be 10. Okay. And then what I do is I uh, multiply along these lines. So that would be 1x or x, and that would be 10x. Okay. Now the question I've got to ask myself is, is there any way that I can manipulate 10x and x in order to create positive 7? Could I add them together? Well, no, I can't because that would be 11x. Could I take them away from each other? Uh, no, I can't because that's going to be 9x or uh, minus 9x. Whatever I do to that, it's not going to work in order to produce positive 7x. So what I do is say, well, actually, unfortunately, that's not going to work for me. So I'm going to try it again. Uh, I'll put another x in here and an x in here. And this time, rather than using 10 and 1, I'm going to look at 10. I'm going to say, well, it's going to be 5 and 2 because 2 times 5 is 10. So it doesn't matter which way around I put them in this particular 
um, cross because they're both positive, so it's relatively straightforward. And if I look at this, I'm going to again multiply along the side and I get 5x. Multiply along there and I get 2x. Okay, so in order to create positive 7x, what have I got to do? Well, I've got to add those two terms together. So I'm going to add positive 2 and positive 5. Well, if I do that, it means then I can create positive 7x. So the good news is it looks like I've solved my factorization. Okay, so I'm going to write it out now. Bear in mind I'm going to write it out in similarity with the, in, in the same way that I've write it on my cross there. So I've got x, and this is, I know this is positive 2 because I've done it, and I know this is positive 5. So that would be x, first term, second term plus 2, third term is x again, fourth term is positive 5. Okay, and that's going to solve and factorise my expression x squared plus 7x plus 10. Okay. So it's taken a little bit of explanation, and I think what I will do is I'll put the, uh, the, the next, in the next video, we'll deal with making this just a little bit more sophisticated. But if you have a look at mathsrap.co.uk, then all of the videos are together. Um, please uh, do post, pin, tweet, um, add a comment below, um, and you can also subscribe to the site. I hope you found this particular method useful. Um, it is a way that I've done it, and I use it for all of my factorisation, and it works perfectly well for me in most circumstances. Um, and I look forward to. I hope that's been okay, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.